Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we're diving into a key section of the A320's auto flight system, the flight directors. The A320 boasts two flight directors, each displaying guidance information for various flight phases. The flight directors are displayed as two green bars on the PFD, one displaying the vertical commands and the other for lateral. When the aircraft is following the commands of the flight directors, the yellow square in the center of the PFD is perfectly in line with the flight director bars. In this scenario, the flight director bars are above and to the right of the yellow square. This means that in order to follow the commands of the flight directors, a pitch up and bank to the right must be executed. Conversely, in this scenario, the flight director bars are below and to the left of the yellow square. This means that in order to follow the commands of the flight directors, a pitch down and bank to the left must be executed. The flight directors offer further advanced functionalities by pressing the track FPA push button on the FCU. This engages the flight path director and is used to give guidance commands for following a specific track or maintaining a flight path angle. In this case, the flight path vector, known as the bird, is displayed on the PFD alongside the flight path director, which is a pair of guidance triangles. The flight path director takes input from what is selected on the track and FPA windows on the FCU and gives the required commands for achieving this. The aim is to align the bird within the guidance bars by pitching and rolling the aircraft so that the bird sits between the flight path directors. The flight directors are automatically engaged at FMGC system power-up. Flight Director 1 displays FMGC1's orders onto PFD1, and Flight Director 2 displays FMGC2's orders onto PFD2. Below 30 feet during takeoff and landing, the vertical flight director bar is replaced by a yaw bar which gives lateral orders if a localizer signal is available. There are two flight director push buttons located on both sides of the flight control unit, FCU. Anytime the flight directors are turned on or off, careful attention must be paid to the auto thrust status, and in some airline SOPs, these FMAs must be announced. For example, if the auto thrust remains active, the call auto thrust speed is announced. If the auto thrust is disengaged, the call auto thrust off is announced. On the PFD, 1FD2 is the normal FMA indication with both flight directors engaged. However, other modes might be encountered. For example, dash FD1 means flight director 1 is turned off while flight director 2 is engaged. 2FD2 means flight director 1 is inoperative and Flight Director 2 is engaged. While the Flight Directors are reliable companions, they do have limitations, such as during excessive maneuvers, when the aircraft's pitch exceeds plus 25 degrees nose up or minus 13 degrees nose down, or the bank angle exceeds 45 degrees, the Flight Directors temporarily disappear. They reappear once the aircraft returns to a more stable attitude, more specifically, when the bank angle is back below 40 degrees. Mode reversions. If the autopilot disengages, the flight directors revert to the basic modes. The flight director bars flash for 10 seconds to alert you. For example, a flashing pitch bar indicates a reversion to vertical speed mode, while a flashing lateral bar indicates a reversion to heading mode. Loss of guidance data. In the case of critical data loss during an approach, the flight director bars flash permanently. This can occur when the aircraft loses ILS data above specific radio altimeter heights. These heights are 100 feet for the glide slope and 15 feet for the localizer. If the flight directors become unavailable, pilots will have to use raw data instruments such as the attitude indicator or the flight path vector for manual flight control. Thanks for tuning in to this bite-sized tutorial on the flight directors.